Uh, back. Welcome back to the living room with your man, Jay Gates. We are live in full effect right in beautiful uh, Grove Hall at the <laughs> BNN Grove studio. Hall. This is, uh, you, <laughs> this is a lot. <laughs> Whatever. E That's that radio station mentality. That's uh, what that is. Yeah, you can give us a call at 617-708-3280. Seven right. <laughs> on, on the couch right now. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> On the couch right now, we have extraordinaire, comedian extraordinaire, John Lasseter, yeah. out of New York City. That's right. New the, York. Orig originally from Denver. Uh, Denver, Denver, Colorado, yeah. originally. Black people in Denver, no, sir. Everybody. Everybody. <laughs> what am I, green? <laughs> yeah. 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 Hold, hold on. Look, 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 we got technical difficulties. We're going to switch up here on the mic. Okay. It worked for the singer. Okay. It's working for me, I guess, now. Oh, your mic's not working? Is my mic not okay. working? Okay, then. Give it to John. Oh. Uh, this is live TV. And these are prepaid microphones. <laughs> we need to put some minutes on the microphone. <laughs> put another $5 on the microphone so we can get this show cracking. Uh, is it working now? Is, you're working you now. now? Hey, 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 Street, give him the other mic so they can have that battery fixed. Stop oh, trying okay. to hold the back. I'm trying to do it nonchalantly. You see how yeah. you nah, came you, you the are, you are. So originally from Denver, Colorado. Yeah. You try to smooth that out. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah there was no way yeah. to smooth that one out. Yeah, there was no way to How long have out. you been doing comedy? <laughs> I've been doing comedy about 12 years now. 12 feel years. feel like 50. Feel like it's a lot of work, right? It's a lot of work. I'm getting pretty funny. Oh, uh, yeah, you are. I, 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 look, I made it to the couch. You made it to the couch. <laughs> and, 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 and to Boston. And ain't Jay Little, but you're here. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I can't wait to get to that Oprah couch so I can quit speaking to all you black people. <laughs> Y'all are you know finished. <laughs> once I hit that couch, it's a done deal. Once you get an Oprah couch? Oh, that's once what I get an Oprah. Rock. Oh, yeah. I, well, no. But Chris is doing good, though. Because, yeah, because because of the Oprah show. Now, let's, let's keep it real. Yeah. Because he was still pookie from New Jack City. <laughs> New Jack City. <laughs> until <laughs> Oprah seen him in Chicago and brought him on the show. Okay. And oh, I get to go that, to Chicago then. Was this before then. his huh? TV show? I mean, this is before his TV show. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, because he, remember, he was, his wheels were spinning. It only takes one person, good it's, person, to see you. That's what it is. Now. Who, who? who Influence you as a comic? I would say uh, Jonathan Gates. Jonathan Gates. Good answer. And then uh, Eddie, Eddie Murphy, uh, Richard Pryor. Richard Pryor. Richard Pryor. Yeah. And then, you know what? The whole Def Jam franchise, because that was the first time I saw people that looked like me that I was like, oh, I could do that. You know, once right. you see people that look like you, you're like, I could do that too. Because you didn't have no, no black people in Denver. <laughs> well, no, we had black people, but every time we saw it, it was on a movie screen. Richard Pryor, Eddie Murphy, but then it was just on TV every weekend where right. you was like, oh, I could do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, okay, that's what's up. So, Street, if you had one question to ask a comedian, what would it be? I, I don't know, maybe just because when I go to the comedy shows, you guys always rank on the people in the front. Why do y'all do that? <laughs> like, why does it just, why? like, I noticed some comedians, have you ever, like, okay, have you ever had somebody like verbally or physically want to attack you if you like made jokes about them and they weren't feeling it? Have you ever had any problems? Because some nah, people can't take you know, it. You know what? You always pick somebody small. <laughs> <laughs> pick somebody, pick you somebody be. smaller than you. That's what we do. Yeah, I, I, I can <laughs> You're be smaller than me, so I would say something bad about well, you. Well, I got six feet with the heels on, so I'm, I, I can give you a fight now. That's what I'm talking That's about. <laughs> let's get out of here. Nothing. No. <laughs> now, let's, let's get a serious question. All right. Now, I'm going to tell people something. No, no. This, this business is very treacherous. Yes. I remember a show when I first met you now for 10 years. Yeah. When you've been involved. Sketch Wars. Yeah. Can you tell people what is sketch? What was Sketch Wars that it'll never come out now? <laughs> well, well, it, it's a derivative of a show that uh, Nick Cannon has now, and I'm gonna leave that one alone. <laughs> it's something real close, but uh, Nick, uh, they rocking with it. Uh, yeah, I do remember now. I, I remember we were sitting on the road somewhere, and that concept popped in your head, and we went through it, and there was another comedian sitting there. Uh, yeah. Well. And then all I'm, of a sudden, I'm, he's on Nick Cannon's well, show. Well, I'm not gonna say nothing. But about I'll say it. I'm not gonna and, say it's name, I Spanky will. Hayes. I'm not going <laughs> to say his name. Say I'm going to leave that alone. I didn't but, you, but you know what? Can I make a comment, though, about that? I noticed in the industry, especially music, comedian, acting, it seems like a lot of people don't get credit for the original ideas. It's like you can't even talk around people no more because somebody's listening, you always willing to take your, your ideas. Yeah. yeah. And you know, what you, you know what's even better now, though? Media is good, so you, you better shoot it yourself. Mm -hmm. right. You know, now that cameras are cheaper, shoot it yourself and, and keep your and keep your mouth shut. Put it in a safe deposit box. Yeah, and that's how you get it on. You you do I I do know this about you. You you're you are one of the most energetic 
comics going. Your, right. your physical yeah. comic. <laughs> See, there's a lot of comics that, that's verbal. Right. There's a lot of comics that's physical. You're a combination of both. Right. So if you had to describe John Lasseter right. in, in one sentence to the audience, what would it be? I go full throttle. Full throttle. I go full throttle. Ain't no, once I go in, I'm going all the way in. Okay, so ton tonight he's at Slade's, 958 Tremont Street. He's headlining along with my man Vern Thomas. We're going down. We're going to get some chicken wings. Cocaine chicken. Oh, okay. Cocaine chicken. Don't Cartier. say cocaine yeah, we can't around say it, me. I just got out of rehab. <laughs> <laughs> Don't but it's some of the best around. chicken in the city, so make sure Jonathan treats you to a big bucket of chicken when you get there. Okay. The thing what I want the audience to understand about this struggle, what is the hardest thing that you find doing comedy? Uh, it's a, it, it, I have a drinking problem now. It's addictive. <laughs> I really do. I just got out of rehab. John, I'll tell you, really, I was in 30-day rehab. But it, it, it's addictive, that, that wanting what you want right now. Right. You know, so like when, when you when you see that look in people's eyes, you, you just want to always feel like that. You want to party after it's over. You want to party before it starts. You want to party all night and uh, and sit next to hot chicks. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay. The reason I brought that up, because having you on this in the game, what do you call me? Uh, my big brother. All right. And when he called me, I figured if, if I have a way to help you, my job is to help you. Uh, I do know that you have so much talent. You are a writer also. You yeah. have concept for six shows that we sit down and we talk about. Right. So right now, what can we do, me and my extended family, the Cornerstone, do to help John Lasseter to be the best John Lasseter that America has not seen yet? Uh, that's a good question, because if I knew that, I'd have called you already. You mm -hmm. did call me, talking about I'm in rehab. No. I was right in rehab, too. I was like, no, I'm really in rehab. I was whispering because I wasn't supposed to be using the phone in there. I was like, I'm really in rehab. <laughs> see, see people, what people don't understand, right, along with the laughter, there's a lot of tears. Oh, yeah. Be because along with it, because some of the best comics had problems. Let's go back to your Richard Pryor. Let's go back to your Eddie Murphy, your Red Fox, Rudy May Moore, uh, Pig Meat Markham, uh, Steve. You know, this, this game is not a game. This is real life, so we have to understand, although when you hear us, there's a lot of pain behind that. So there's a lot of pain, so understand that. But I want Boston and everybody that's listening, all 12 people in the state of Massachusetts <laughs> that's watching us right now, please give it up for my man, Mr. John Lasseter. Come check him out. Is there a web page that anybody can check you out right now? Uh, nah, just hit me up on Facebook or MySpace, John Lasseter at MSN. Yeah, they got it. They wrapping us up. Yeah, they wrapping up. They always wrap me up, but this is what I do. I keep going. This is a live show, 617-708-3280. <laughs> I know the director going to be yelling in the camera, tell him to shut up in a minute. Yeah, thank, that's what we do. Thank y'all, uh, Listen, keep hanging in there with us. Don't go nowhere. Live show. We're about to go to the, the first family. The first family over here. I know we got to go to a PSA, but I'll say it anyway. We're gonna go